Okay, a little bit of a different perspective today. Um, I'm, um, I'm about that close to uh, chopping all this off. I think I've, I've been about that close for a while. So I don't know what's going on with this. I've kind of lost control of it last year and it's just kind of doing its own thing, which I guess it's fine. I don't know. It's not the worst. Um, anyway, yeah, um, different perspective, different lens. Right now, I'm on the 22 mil F2. So if you can tell behind me, it's all nice and blurred and bokeh-y. It's very nice. Um, plus, I don't usually look at you this way. I'm usually technically facing this way. But you know, we're just doing we're doing stuff differently. Um, yeah. Anyway, so what we are doing today is nothing, nothing that important. Um, I'm trying to get back into a somewhat consistent routine uh, as far as putting up videos. So I'm not gonna be so focused on, you know, specific things per se. I'm still gonna do like my film stuff because I have a couple uh, film projects I need to film and that stuff. Um, and stuff like that, sorry. Um, but I, I do wanna try some new techniques like with lighting and such and, and all that fun stuff. And as they tell a lot of people, um, that I kind of shoot with and stuff like that. Um, the best way to kind of test out your gear is one, to just use it and make stuff. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just using it and making stuff. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to get out of this setup. Um, it's a little bit moody, so we're gonna turn all the lights on because I got a little bit of work to do. Um, well, a little bit more work to do, but yeah. Okay, let's move. So I have this open spot here. Uh, that's for the new M6 Mark II I just picked up like hours ago, really. Um, I wanted something to replace the M, which was one of my favorite cameras, but the autofocus was not the greatest. But I also wanted something that shot like my favorite Canon, the 7D Mark II, which is my main work camera. So that's where the M6 Mark II kind of comes in. It's kind of that balance between a work camera and a not so work camera, which is kind of what I was looking for. Um, the intention wasn't to replace the 70 Mark II uh, just yet. It's just, there's nothing in the Emeritus line that comes close to the 70 Mark II at the moment. If you follow Canon rumors and stuff like that, um, there is a potential APS-C crop sensor mirrorless coming out maybe this year. So this is gonna buy me a little bit of time. If it does end up coming out this year, I'll be a little bit more, um, situated to get my hands on it, hopefully. Um, if not, then uh, I'm, I'm finding out that this camera is perfectly capable of um, work, which is kind of a shock. I wasn't anticipating something close to the uh, 7D Mark II from a tiny body, but um, so far it's really nice. And I'm quite shocked at how well this camera's performing, um, considering, you know, it's not the most, I mean, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's not the most expensive camera. It's definitely not R5, R6 territory, and it's super tiny, which it's kind of a big deal because my camera, the 7D Mark II with the battery, it's big and it's heavy and I don't like carrying it around, but it's work. And so far, um, I'm, Really, really happy with this camera. As far as stills go, it's it's exceptional. It's a, well, it's a Canon, kind of a partial to Canon. Um, but yeah, uh, video-wise, it's pretty good. It's not, you know, it's not um, R5 or R6. Don't compare it to anything like that, but it's good enough for, for what I use uh, work-wise and for YouTube stuff, which is perfect. It's, it, it's exactly what I was looking for. Um, my only real gripe with the thing is the lens, the lens, sorry. The uh, the screen flips up instead of flipping out. So I can't put a mic up there or else it'll, it'll get obstructed. Um, so I have the lav mic on right now if you couldn't see it. But we're gonna have to figure something out. I've seen people put things on their camera and such. I'd like to try to avoid that if I can, but if that's all I can do, then, well, that's all I can do. Um, I guess really my only other gripe isn't the camera's fault. It's, I don't have a super wide for an M mount camera. Um, the widest I have is this 18 to 55 kit lens that came with the M way, way long time ago. Uh, and it works nice. It works much better on the M6 Mark II, uh, but it's not, 
it's not 10 mil. I want at least 10 mil. There's an 11 to 18, 11 to 22, something along those lines, uh, M mount lens, but it's like 500 bucks. I'm, I'm just not gonna spend that on that. I have two wide angle lenses already. I'll just use the adapter that I have and stick with that. Although it would be so convenient just to have everything in a tiny, tiny, tiny package. Yeah, so. I'm gonna try my best to use the 18 to 55 because I don't ever use this lens. Um, the autofocus with that just never worked well enough for video, but works perfectly on this camera. Well, perfectly. It works exceptional. So I'm gonna try to use this more, but I have a really good feeling that I'm probably just gonna throw one of my wide angles on there with the adapter, just because that's a little bit easier. The audio on the other hand, I don't know how we're gonna work that out. We'll figure something out. Um, well, that's kind of where we're at now. I wanted to run out and do a um, time lapse, but turns out it's dark, which means it's probably five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, no, but yeah, uh, that, that's really gonna wrap it up for right now. Like I said, just trying things out, testing out new stuff. This right here is the M6 Mark II. It's really, really small, uh, especially compared to the uh, 70 Mark II, but it's pretty mighty. I dig it so far. I haven't done everything with it just yet, but that's kind of what the next few days are for. Um, just gonna, you know, use this as much as possible, uh, which means probably more videos coming up pretty soon. That might be just a little bit boring, just a little bit like this. Maybe not, I don't know, but yeah, I'm taking it on a shoot tomorrow. I'm gonna try to use this. I'm taking my 70 Mark II just in case I get frustrated with this and wanna just switch back over. But uh, so far, I feel like I'm gonna do just fine with this. Um, it's gonna save my wrist a little bit because I have problems with stuff like that and carrying the big battery and the, the heavy camera and all that stuff. A little bit taxing after, you know, two or three hours of shooting. So that's gonna be interesting. I will have to report back to you and let you know how that goes. Although I'm pretty confident that this little thing is gonna do just fine. Might look a little bit weird to uh, a client if they're used to seeing, you know, a big, giant, chunky camera. Cause a lot of the, a lot of people associate big, giant, chunky camera with professional. And that's not the case nowadays. It hasn't been the case in, a while, especially with, you know, mirrorless and like all the Sonys, all the Fujis and all that fun stuff. Um, and now, well, now the Canons, even though their mirrorless aren't the smallest, but still. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later, um, probably a lot sooner. We're gonna do some more fun stuff with this camera and hopefully I can get around to getting used to the 1855 so I don't have to carry a bunch of extra stuff extra stuffs around with me when I go out. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, bye.